In this series of videos, these are my Q&A, all about Poshmark. In this series of videos, I will be taking it from the morning show, from the topic of the morning, uh, whether it be uh, the Q&As of my morning shows, for those who cannot make it, and this way here, you will still be able to enjoy the uh, contents, but without all the uh, things that I do the, uh, in the morning show. And so I hope you enjoy this. And also, don't forget, you can ask those questions that you may be thinking about when you're going to want to take that plunge or take that step, and you haven't done it yet for a particular platform. That's what we're here for, so come on in and enjoy the show. If this is your first time tripping over my channel, I want to thank you so much for coming by. And also, if you've been returning, I want to thank you for your continuing support to the channel. But everything that I'm going to ask you is free. I'd like you to do me a big favor. Right below this video, that word subscribe, make sure you subscribe to the channel, especially if you like the content. And also, uh, after you do that, make sure right next to it, there's the notifications. Make sure you hit all three, because the very top one is where you get all your notifications at. Then also hit me the thumbs up. That does help the channel. But most importantly, give me those comments below, because guess what? That helps the channel, but it also helps me interact with you, because I do answer each and every one of those comments. Uh, today, I don't know if y'all I don't know if y'all ready for today. Are y'all ready for today? Are y'all ready to be glamorized? Put a hearts in the chat if you are ready to be glamorized today, but none other than today. We're knowing that as of last week, we started with the Thursday Q&A, all about Poshmark. So hopefully you have some questions, bringing them on in, because hopefully we can get them answers for you today. So let's get glamorized. Let's get some hearts in the chat. Let's fill it up with, are you ready for glamorized? Because I know I am, and she's up in the back room smiling and laughing away. Let's bring on none other than Glamour's Closet. Hi. <laughs> Glamorized. I like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're the hearts. They're coming. Oh, yay. Oh, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and, you. Uh, if y'all don't know Glams, she is uh, really into a lot, been doing a uh, Poshmark. And so when I asked about doing this type of show, um, I have to say she immediately said yes. And so um, just make sure if you have questions that you do put them in the chat, even if you were to put maybe the big Q or questions all in caps right before it. So I'll catch it. I'm trying to catch them all. Sometimes I will get a little far behind in the chat, but I do make sure I get all questions asked. Once I see them, I do put a star by them so I can make sure not to miss you. Uh, also, I'm going to be dropping, first of all, Glamaz has her Poshmark and everything we're going to talk about today. All her information is in the description bar below. So make sure if you want to check it out. Get an idea of what she's got uh, on her uh, Etsy store. And of course, if you have any questions and you just want to reach out to her, maybe about your store or anything like that, if you are on Poshmark, here's her email. You're more than welcome to reach out to her. So, Glams, I'm going to go ahead and have you uh, kind of talk a little bit about your channel, uh, what you got going on, promote yourself and your channel, and a little bit about uh, leaving not a whole bunch of details, but just a little bit about your Poshmark. Sure. And I'll get some links in the chat real quick. Sure. Um, well, my Poshmark, uh, my Poshmark link is listed in the chat, listed in the chat that way. <laughs> um, and, uh, and I've had my Poshmark closet for about three years now. Um, I started selling on Poshmark, honestly, because it was for me, the most user-friendly one. I, I didn't have to give any more detail than I was comfortable with really too much. Um, and it's been, uh, it's been a wonderful, um, it's been a wonderful side thing. I retired a couple of years ago after being on furlough from, uh, the hotel business, uh, from catering and weddings, um, for gosh, Ted, uh, 32 years. And so um, when I retired uh, and, and, you know, Glampa was sweet and he retired me, he's like, you want to retire? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, okay, let's do it. Um, so I did it to kind of keep myself busy and keep my brain busy. And it turned into a wonderful side business for me. And it's, you know, most of the time it pays for, it pays for things like vacation. And of course I love to shop. So it pays for that. 
Um, and then I started to promote my Poshmark closet. I started my YouTube channel, Glamour's Closet. So my first question, uh, you did touch a little bit about it when you did your little intro about Poshmark. I'm ready. I know that uh, eBay has their own little Vero list. Um, and from what I understand, even Etsy has it. And I had a conversation with you about it being with also with Poshmark. So talk a little bit about that. And is it something that you have to worry about with Poshmark? And how does someone check and make sure that they're able to list certain things or what is the things that they cannot list? Um, the one thing that I really think that Poshmark has on the other two websites um, is that Poshmark doesn't have a bureau. They literally, I've never, ever listed anything on Poshmark that they said, sorry, that's copyrighted. Sorry, we can't do that. Sorry, we can't. Never, not once. Um, so I've listed all, if it's a brand name of clothing, jewelry, shoes, hosiery, undergarments, um, it, anything like that, accessories, electronics, anything that I've listed on Poshmark, never, not once, not, no Vero's. They don't, they don't, uh, now, <clears throat> that being said, um, you have to know, you have to keep in mind too, um, and, and really shop these stores because some of the bigger names, um, like Free People uh, is, is one of the bigger names in clothing. Um, some of these bigger names will actually have their own closet on Poshmark. So you have to kind of be careful about that and, and be mindful of, you know, not necessarily of listing. You can list anything, um, but you also have to be mindful of um, competing with, you know, competing with these guys who have the brand new product. So just, you know, as long as you check your comps, check your pricing. Um, I there's I've never, ever had any I've never had one thing that I couldn't list on Poshmark. Okay, now that brings me to my next question. When you talk about comps, now I know with eBay, I have an app. I can go on when I'm sourcing and I can see what's sold and what's listed. How is that to be able to be done on Poshmark? For Poshmark, I go into listings um, and it, at the top of your screen on Poshmark, um, there is a little, uh, there's a little Poshmark icon next to that. It says listings and it says search listings. Mm -hmm. So I go, I type whatever I'm, I'm looking at uh, into that listing. So let's say that I have a pair of Ariat square toe black cowboy boots. I'll type in Ariat square toe black cowboy boots, usually the size that I have too, it helps narrow it down. Mm -hmm. And then um, it'll, it'll drop down a menu that has all of those that are for sale. If I go to the left of that screen and I just scroll down a little bit, um, you have your choice of, uh, you have your choice of available, um, all availability, all items, available items, available and dropping soon items, dropping soon items or sold items. And I always click on the sold items because I don't want to know what you're selling it for. I want to know what you sold it for. Right. And that's the way with, you know, obviously your resellers, you know what comps look like. So we all want to see what the sold comps are on those. Now you were talking in reference to um, when you're listing things, um, do you have, and, and I know you broke it just down as far as even down to the sold. Is there any other type of things in your app when you're going to search that kind of stuff to kind of limit yourself to like you want a certain higher to lower price or if there is anything that you can do to check off for, say, a size or colors? Or do you have to always type that in to break it down into what you're looking for? Um, it really helps you if you type it in. On the left-hand side of the screen, um, you can do conditions, all conditions, new with tags, shipping, all items free, discounted and free. Um, you can do a price that's like under 25, 25 to 50. They usually do 25 or $50 uh, increments. You can look by brands. Uh, you can look by size. Um, you can look by categories. So like women, men's, kids, home, pets, and electronics are really their categories. Um, the one thing that I did not mention, and, and I think it's important for me to mention for, um, for, for things that you sell for pets and for, for any type of cosmetic item, whether it's like hair, makeup, whatever, um, for things that you sell for pets and for thing, for any type of cosmetic items, you do have to sell those new and unused. So if you come across like a bottle of perfume, 
Um, and it's a, let's say that you've got a bottle of Chanel number no. five and it's only been squirted once. It's still, because it's not in its original packaging, you can't sell that on Poshmark. You can on eBay and I've sold those on eBay before. Not Chanel number no. five, but another type of Chanel perfume. But, um, but that you can't do. Is there any other products that you cannot sell new uh, used on Poshmark? Um, no, not really. <laughs> You can even sell, honestly, you can sell like, you know, intimates, you can sell shoes, you can sell um, used electronics, uh, you can sell used home goods. You know, I, I've got um, I've got a, a really pretty tablecloth on my closet. So there are a lot of times I will I like to source the new with tag stuff specifically right before Q4. So in Q3, I really look for the new with tag stuff, which I think everybody does because mm. Christmas is coming and, you know, people oh. are looking for things that are new with tags. Um, but yeah, I've, I've done like, it, I can tell you that one of my top sellers on Poshmark is vintage slips and vintage nightgowns. Oh. If they have, and guys, if you, if you, you can call it vintage, if they have the U, um, the United, uh, oh God, the United Garment Workers, I think it is. Um, if they have the union bug on the inside where it's like a little tag that says the union and it says made in the USA, if it's a nightgown or a slip, get that thing online because those union bugs mean that it is vintage because the United States quit putting that on. Um, we don't produce that much cloth anymore, uh, clothing anymore anymore anyway in the United States. Most of it's produced overseas now, but they quit putting that union bug on um, in the mid 80s. Wow. My grandma retired from the garment industry in uh, in in the early 80s. Um, she was actually 75 or 76 at the time. So my next question on, I know, and again, I'm, I'm referring it because that's what I'm used to um, more yeah. on uh, eBay than any other platform right now. Um, when you're listing things at a high dollar amount, does Poshmark back you up when it comes to any type of program to verify that it is uh, authentic for that item you're trying to sell? And is there any program you have to send in to make sure that they can get it authentic authenticated for you? Um, they do, actually. When it comes to items that you're selling for $500 or more, um, so let's say that you have a Louis Vuitton bag or a Chanel bag. Those are obviously, you know, anywhere from 1500 used. They're anywhere from 1500 to 3000. Mm -hmm. um, for things like that, they will, do, they definitely have an authentication process. So when somebody goes to purchase it, it goes, the shipping uh, label that they send you does not go to the customer. It goes directly to Poshmark and you package it up, you send it to Poshmark and they verify it and they will not charge the person's credit card until they have verified the, the uh and, and that it's authentic and they have like independent authenticators so that's pretty good awesome all right michael says posh does not have a viral but they will not promote a listing that doesn't meet standards target is one of those sticky companies if you put target in your title it may not be promoted or shared uh, yes and no um and here's my answer for that um, it's because most of what they sell at Target is not Target branded. Even their store, even their store stuff is not mm -hmm. Target branded. So they have um, they have like a new day. They have their own brands or like uh, Christian Siriana for Target um, or uh, or, you know, Isaac Mizrahi for Target. Um, and if you put Isaac Mizrahi X and then Target next to it, you, it will let you do that in the title. And I know that because I've, I've actually done purses like that before. Um, so it depends on what you're doing. If you're like Target brand, la, 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 it's not, there's, there is no Target brand. It's, okay. it's like method is their laundry detergent. And so they all, they have, Target has sort of sub names for everything. Mm -hmm. Now, when you first started, you, on a, on, on, from what I'm hearing with Poshmark, usually a lot of people deal with clothing, but I'm mm -hmm. understanding lately that they're adding more categories. Kind of expand on that type of topic on the categories that you can um, list with Poshmark. And is there any age, like for example, I know with Etsy, you have to have a certain year before you can call it and list it on there. Is there anything like that with Poshmark? Um. As far as, 
uh, we'll have to come back to the we'll have to come back to the age. Um, when uh, when Poshmark when I first started on Poshmark, it was men's, women's, kids, and that was it. And then they added home, and then they added um, then they added pets, and then they added electronics. So uh, so the um, so the progressions there and and every time every year it seems like they add something new or every every sort of six to eight months they'll add a new category so i really really enjoyed that um i don't i've tried to sell other things on poshmark with some little success um but my biggest seller your biggest seller on posh is always going to be clothing and it's always going to be shoes and things like that because that's who is shopping poshmark right. um it doesn't have an age that you have to have to be vintage um it, it's just sort of understood that you know there's like right now vintage is it generally considered to be you know 20 years or older which means that something from 2002 is vintage Mm -hmm. Um, when I say vintage, I usually mean from the seventies, uh, sixties, seventies, eighties, um, it, even back to like the fifties, I don't really consider nineties vintage unless it's a very, very super Y2K thing where if it's like, you know, nineties lug, lug sole loafers, those are, those were a big thing. So I don't sort of there's nothing on Poshmark that says that, you know, if you could say you can say it's vintage. You can say it's vintage all day. Um, and you can put it in the description and you can put it in the, in the, you know, search words and stuff like that. Um, but people who are shopping vintage, if they're specifically shopping for vintage, they're going to know. So you might right. as well not do that because it's, you know, you're kind of BSing people. <laughs> right. So I'm going to take it back to the basics for when somebody decides I want to get into doing Poshmark, but I'm, I'm not knowing how to. I know and no matter what platform, it's always a little nervous to get started. What would somebody have to do to get started? And is there any type of, say, affiliate link that somebody can use to uh, help support somebody else that's going to maybe be uh, thinking about getting into Poshmark? Like if I say I want to uh, sign up for Poshmark, mm -hmm. is there anybody that we can do a type of um, referral load, a link or something like that? Um, I have, uh, I, if somebody wants to sign up for Poshmark, um, you're more than welcome to reach out to me and I can send you a referral link. Um, I get 10 bucks and, you know, for your first sale and it, that doesn't come out of your pocket. So that's nice. Um, but honestly, jump in. It's literally, this is how I did it. I went online, it said Poshmark and, and I just downloaded the app on my phone and it said sell. And I just hit the sell button, sell button. And it asked me for pictures. It asked me for a title, a description, um, the size, the color, uh, the category and, um, the price that I wanted to sell it at. And that was pretty much it. That's it. I've did, all of a sudden now I've got a listing on Poshmark. It's addictive how easy it is. It's so easy, but for more information, too, I've got a four-part selling on Poshmark series um, that I did. Part one, listing. Part two, you know, getting. Part one, getting ready. Part two, listing. Part three, you know, how to process a sale. Part four, how to process the order and get paid. So, um, if you want to check that out too, on Glamo's Closet channel, I have I have uh, how to sell on Poshmark, and it, I just sort of broke it down to where it's. I want to say idiot proof <laughs> because I'm the kind of guy who, who benefits from somebody going, okay, step one, hit this button. You know what I mean? Like, right. it's not like, Oh, hit the, hit the blah, blah, blah button. And I'm like, I have no idea what that is. Um, so it's, it's, it's sort of an easy step-by-step -step process and you can do every single thing on Poshmark from your phone. Now I don't do everything on Poshmark from my phone because um, because frankly uh, I I'm old and I can't see my phone all the time. Canadian Posh and every time I list a China dish dishes, I get a warning that they are prefer, they prefer I didn't sell it because it's fragile. What's the deal about that? I get those notifications anytime that I have anything with glass. Um, so whether it's a glass perfume bottle or like a glass dish, 
um, I get those notifications. They don't necessarily tell me that they prefer that I don't sell it. What they do is go, this is gonna, this is a breakable item. Are you sure you want to sell this? And I'm like, yeah, I know what bubble wrap is. So, you know, beep, sure. Um, so that was, uh, that's usually the, the, you get like a little pop-up that's like, Ooh, it's a breakable item. And I'm like, yeah, I know this isn't a pair of shorts. Thanks Poshmark. You know, <laughs> you're just, yeah. I'm like, you're, you're being silly posh. <laughs> All right. Ned Renee would like to know, I have a question about sharing. I want to share only within Poshmark, but when I try to share, it seems to want to share it to other platforms. So how I'll never. I have never shared. So I've never shared. Hmm. That's interesting because um, when I share through Posh, it only shares to Posh. Now it'll say share to all your followers. Um, and then it'll, it'll also say like share to, you know, um, I don't know, uh, d designer, blah, 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 or something like that, which is usually like a Poshmark party. Um, I've never experienced Poshmark sharing me, my, my uh my sales with any with my my items with any other um with any other uh platform so i'm not sure um renee i guess my question would be are you using uh are you using something like venmo where it's a cross listing thing um if so you'll probably want to go through the poshmark app uh or posher va is is my favorite bot um so you'll want to go through those application, those applications for sharing your Poshmark closet. If all you want to do is share your Poshmark closet. Okay. So uh, Renee, uh, Michael says, if you link your Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook, it will ask you if you would want to share those platforms to those platforms. You can also just click the slider to turn those platforms off. Michael, that's a good, that, thank you for that tip. That's a good tip because I have never linked my, um, my social media with my Poshmark platform. So is that like sharing it out as well? Well, you can share it to them as well if you did that. Yeah. I, and if I want to, if you want to share your, um, items on like your Facebook page, um, you can do it on Twitter. I think you can do it on Instagram. Michael just, uh, just mentioned that. Um, if you want to, uh, share it on your social media, you can, I just have all of that turned off. So it would automatically not. Now she says she didn't, she wants to go back and try it, but she's not liking the idea of the 20% fee. Is yeah. that the only fee they charge you or is there anything else that they charge you other than the 20%? The only thing that they charge you for your sale is a 20% fee. Um, if you send out an offer for, uh, if you send out an offer for like discounted shipping or free shipping, they charge, they charge you for that. Um, so most of my offers include like a $2 off. It's like $2 and, and some, some change off of shipping. Now that brings me to my next question with not only the fees, but with promoting other than just sharing your closet, mm -hmm. can you use or is there anything you can use to do like promoted listings and or promoted uh, discounts and or coupons? And if so, how do, does somebody go about doing that? Um, I, it's not like eBay where they have like the promoted listing where you can click the thing. You don't have that with Poshmark. Um, you do tend to get more, the more followers you have, the more, the more exposure you have, obviously. Um, with Poshmark, as far as like promoting your closet, sharing is going to be the number one thing, which is why I got the bot to begin with. That's why I paid the $25 a month for the, um, that's why I paid the $25 a month for the uh, Posher VA so that it can share, 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 share incessantly. Um, you can share up to 10,000 uh, items a day. So I just, you know, I'll, if I have 400, I'll share those over and over again until I hit 10,000. Um, and you can set that up to do automatic sharing at certain times so that you don't have to touch it. Uh, mm -hmm. There is really... If you have a sale, my recommendation would be to reach out to people who have purchased from your 
Poshmark closet in the past. Um, look at the past 90 days. Look at all of your sales. Reach out to those people individually and send them. You can send them a little note um, and just say, hey, you know, I've got a big sale coming out. You can also, um, I, I really recommend if you have a YouTube channel, push that Poshmark closet on YouTube. Um, if you have, you know, social media, if you have Facebook, make sure and put up, you know, the link to your Poshmark closet and say, hey, I'm having this big sale. And then um, and then as part of the people that you sit and share with, like I have 100,000 plus followers. So um, if I'm doing a big weekend sale, I just, you know, put out a couple of big signs in my Poshmark closet. I make them look like listings. And it'll say 50% off, you know, Memorial Day sale, buy one, get one free or 25% off or whatever sale I'm doing. And I will, you know, share, 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 share that. Okay. And I have a combination because I'm going to add my question to this same one right here. Okay. Um, with Poshmark, I know other platforms, there's so many different ways you can do your shipping. Mm -hmm. um, but the charges that you are, are you, the charges, they charge you for the shipping or is it fees on shipping? She wasn't clear on that. And so my next thing was, do you offer free shipping or how does the shipping portion work as far as your labels and stuff like that with Poshmark? With Poshmark, they have um, they have a flat shipping fee for the most part. And and there's always an asterisk next to every answer that I get. <laughs> um, but let's say that you're shipping out, you know, a pair of Levi's. Um, or a sweater or a coat or something like that up to anything up to five pounds. You have a flat shipping fee. It's like seven ninety five, dollars I think is the current cost. Um, and that is priority mail. And they, you don't touch anything. They get the address from the buyer. They have the buyer pay for shipping. All you have to do is get the email from Poshmark that says, you know, you sold this and here's your label and you just print up the label and, and smack it on any priority mail shipping and then ship it out. Um, the issue, there are two different, two different things that I will say about that. Um, yeah. And yes, you can uh, print up the Poshmark labels onto a regular label printer. Every Almost everybody who sells on Poshmark does that. I actually print it on paper because I don't know, because I'm old. Um, but uh, but that's um, what you can do. Now, as far as shipping, you can offer shipping discounts, in which case you're responsible for the for the difference between their shipping fee and your shipping fee. So if you offer a if you offer a sh discounted shipping at five ninety five and their shipping is seven ninety five, you're going to pay for that two dollars out of your profits. Um, also, if you decide to offer free shipping on something, you pay what what your customer would have paid the seven ninety five. So you don't get to choose your own shipping on okay. that. Cool. Uh, so is Poshmark all priority mail? Poshmark is not all priority mail. It is for the most part priority mail. The the exception to the rule would be electronics. Um, they will only send electronics by first class. So right, it's Jeff, have a great day. I'm sorry, a U, USPS parcel. So yeah, they only send that. Um, and then uh, and then if you have a let's say that I have like you know somebody creates a giant bundle it's like 10 items and it's more than five pounds um, they do ask that you pay for the upgraded for the difference with the upgraded shipping between the 795 and you may have to pay an extra three dollars or something for upgraded shipping for the for the extra poundage oh okay